Hey friends, it's Jenna, also known as Empty Hanger, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a full-time fashion and clothing seller on the Poshmark app, and on this channel, I love to share my tips and tricks, my reselling journey, just a little bit of everything, so if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today is actually part two in a series I am doing all about shoes. So the first part of the series was shoe cleaning tips. I'll go ahead and link that video up above if you haven't seen it yet, but today Today, part two is going to be all about shoe photography, so how I take photos of shoes and how I edit them. And I used to dread taking pictures of shoes, I hated how my photos turned out, but now I love it because I have found a system that really works for me. So let's go ahead and start taking pictures. I'm currently sitting in front of my portable photo studio and this is what I use to take pictures of my shoes, my handbags, belts, any kind of smaller items and I just have it set up on a desk. I'm sitting in a chair and this is how I'm going to photograph my shoes. Okay, for photographing shoes, I use this portable photo studio that I ordered from Amazon and if you open it up, it actually has the LED lights built in and it has a nice clean white background so this is a great spot for taking photos of shoes. You can also close it up and open up certain panels and go in and take photos that way. But yeah, I use this thing and I love it so much. Okay, with boots, I also think it's really important to stuff your shoes. So I have this brown craft paper and you can tell this shoe I've stuffed and this one I have it. So it just it's easy to make a quick change. You want to present your shoe in a nice way. Okay, so now they're both stuffed and you can tell it just looks nice. And sometimes for the first shot, I like to go ahead and do a shot like this from above. I think that can look really good. And then I will do all the other normal spots. So I will do a shot from the front. I'll do a shot from the side again. Of course, any kind of like detail, so like the harness. I'll go ahead and do a shot of the back. And if you go from lower, you're not gonna see the paper. Again there, you wanna do the side. And then you wanna do the inside so you can see that it zips. And of course, you wanna make sure to get the bottom of the shoes as well. When I'm taking photos of shoes, I like to go ahead and get a full front shot. And I also like to get any kind of details, so I would take a close up like that. And then I turn the shoe and I will go from the side, I'll turn it again and I'll do the back and show any kind of like special details. So I might go in and get the label with some of the fur and then I'm gonna turn it again and get that side of it. And of course you wanna make sure to get any kind of marking with the size and the style on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I would get this part of it with the style and the size. And then the final you would want to do is the bottom of the shoe. So you wanna make sure to get all the angles, but you can tell even just from this video that it's great lighting for the shoes.
also like to photograph bags in here. So this is just a little belt bag and you know, it's nice because it fits in here. So it's pretty big in here and we could definitely take pictures of something larger. And again, I'll just do all the different angles in this one. I have stuffed and I'll just open it up and I would do the inside. So you can see, I would just take a photo of the inside as well. And there you have that. my photos of belts in here because they fit perfectly so I just usually roll them up and then I'll do a detailed shot of the buckle I'll do you know a couple shots of the actual belt and then of course I want it to make sure to get any kind of like brand or size information as well but yeah I love taking all my pictures of small goods in here because again it is so big <laughs> Okay, now that we've taken photos of our shoes, we just need to edit them quickly. And I actually have a whole video on how I edit my photos for Poshmark, which I'm gonna link up above. But I'm gonna show you specifically how I do it for shoes, which is pretty much the exact same way. But if you want a more in-depth um, review, check out that tutorial. And I'm gonna go ahead and record my screen so we can see exactly what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up the app. And once you open up the app, it just opens up your camera roll. I'm gonna select a photo of the shoes that we just took. And you can see already without editing, it looks pretty good. You don't have to necessarily edit using that light box. Honestly, like I think with the lights and the, um, the white background, it looks great. But I'm gonna tap edit up in the top right corner. And like I talked about before, I have two favorite filters on here. The first is a light side, or I'm sorry, the first is lights on and I'm going to adjust on here just a tiny bit so you can see that brightened up the photo considerably it makes the background really crisp I'm gonna hold down so you can see that's the original which looked fine but there you go with the lights on it just looks really nice crisp and gives that bright effect and then I'm gonna go back and show you with the other filter that I like so there's the original photo I'm going to tap on bright side, which also looks great, and you don't have to do as many adjustments or you don't have to adjust the filter, in my opinion. Um, here's the original photo. I'm going to hold that down, and then now is the bright side. So yeah, that looks great, and that is how I quickly edit my photos. And you would just tap go in the top corner, and then you would save it to your camera roll, and you're good to go. I'm gonna do another photo of another pair of shoes that we took. So let's do um, this pair of mules. And I think that looks great, but again, if you wanna make the background super crisp and super white, tap on the lights on and I move it down a little just to adjust it so it's not super, super bright and there's not too much glare on it. And let's compare it to the original, which was just a little bit darker. There's the lights on and that looks pretty good to me. Um, we'll look at the same photo with the bright side filter. Gonna tap on that. That looks nice to me as well. I'll adjust it down a little bit and then there's the original and there is bright side. So that is a quick, simple edit for your shoe photos. And um, let's do one of the ones from the top. So I showed this, this is typically how I do my cover shot for any shoe that's not a flat. If it's a flat, obviously you can't really stand it on its side, but these booties, you definitely can. So I'm gonna go to edit. On this particular pair, if I do lights on, that kind of washes it out a little bit. I'm going to um, move it down a little bit, and to me, that looks better. That looks more realistic. If you hold down, that's the original photo. That is with lights on. I'm going to look at the same photo again with bright side, and 
let's see that looks pretty good right away to me I'll adjust it down a tiny bit hold it down there's the original and then this is it with the bright side filter so quick easy edits for your photos just using the app pick tap go I will say pick tap go is an iPhone only app so I'm sorry if you don't have an iPhone um, you know there are some maybe some equivalents out there for you oh let's do a photo of the bag real quick. So we did take a photo of a bag while we were um, taking photos just to show you you can do any kind of small item in the box just because you know once it fits in there it has that crisp background. So I'm going to click edit. I'm going to go to lights on and again the background just pops. There's the original and then there is the photo with the lights on filter and you would just save it that way. So there you have it using PicTapGo to quickly edit your photos of your shoes and smaller items that you took in the light box. There you have it, my shoe photography and editing process. Honestly, I think having the right tools and supplies makes a huge difference with this. I get asked now all the time if my shoe photos are the photos that I took or if they are stock photos that I've gotten somewhere. And to me, that is the best compliment because that just means the quality of my shoe photos has increased so much that people think they are professional because let's be real, I am not a professional. Um, if you have any questions or comments about anything you saw in this video, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. And stay tuned for part three in in the all about shoes series which is going to be on shoe storage and shoe shipping and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already I'll see you soon bye